I have been incarcerated against my will four times in psychiatric wards. Each time was approximately three months. I have been in psychiatric wards for over a year of my life. Looking back on it, those times probably helped me get through psychological issues that I experienced, but it didn't feel that way at the time. It felt like all of my rights had been taken away from me and I was being violated. They take away everything from you, including your phone. So you're out of communication and they don't have anything interesting to do in the wards. So you just kind of waste your time and a lot of people spend their time doing weird stuff which made everything uncomfortable and there was a lot of people who were really crazy and when you put a lot of people together who are all having psychological issues it's going to lead to a lot of weird stuff happening and it's not very healthy to recover in the presence of a lot of other people going through traumatic psychological experiences as well. I wasn't thinking right. My head was in fantasy land. I thought that if I could imagine it, then it could be possible. So, I tried for a lot of weird stuff in hopes to find things that weren't necessarily what I needed in my life. I am diagnosed with schizophrenia and every morning I take paliperidone. In my past, I've been on medications that definitely didn't help, and for a long time, I really hated antipsychotics. But paliperidone's really good. It helps me think more clearly, and I appreciate having it in my life. So they eventually found a medication that worked for me, which was good. I'm a smoker and they won't let you smoke in the wards so you just pretty much have to quit which is really annoying because I'm a smoker and right now I don't desire not to be a smoker so why are they forcing their own world view on me when they're the ones that are forcing me to be there? If it were my decision, I wouldn't be there and I would be allowed to smoke. But because it's a health facility, they won't allow you to smoke. I have met a lot of weird people. Most of these people in psychiatric wards are people that I would not choose to be around. So, when you're forced to be there, you have to tolerate people that you normally wouldn't include in your day-to-day -day life. And people can be quite intrusive into your personal space, and I don't appreciate that. And that happens a lot with psychiatric wards, because you have all these people with insecurities that are pushing their own problems onto other people and it was a really horrible experience being forced to exist with a whole bunch of really strange people. There was aggression a lot. People screaming a lot, especially in the middle of the night. You could not get a restful sleep in that place. 
I learned that to some extent you have to conform to the ideals of the world. And if you don't, then there will be consequences that will intrude on your personal freedoms, which ultimately means our personal freedoms are restricted. I learned that you can't talk about whatever you want. You have to have a filter when you discuss subjects. Society doesn't serve the needs of every type of individual. So from the fringes of society, you get people who don't operate harmoniously within the system as it's employed, which results in them being cast into psychiatric wards in attempts to kind of reprogram them to think in ways that are in accord with the daily activities of society. So they're trying to re-educate people to fit in with society as it functions and they're not doing the other way around. They're not trying to get society to include these people. They're trying to change the people to fit in with society, which I understand because you can't change an entire system, especially one person. And that's why I was so psychotic for a time, because I thought even as one person, I could change all of society. And that's madness. Uh, thinking that led me to do a lot of things that weren't necessarily uh, good for my reputation. Psychiatry is a very collective driven profession. They're trying to push the individual to become more like the collective instead of allowing the individual their own unique identity. They diagnose mental disorders to put a label on the phenomena that they see exhibiting from the individual. It is best not to subject your psychology to such punishments. If there are better places to mentally recover from your psychological ills, then you should take those opportunities and going to a psychiatric hospital should really be a last case scenario. It was really hard though because I didn't have any family or friends to support me. I was alone in a strange country without a home and I didn't know what to do and they stuck me in a psychiatric hospital and I didn't think that was very fair for them to do that. Looking back on it now though, everything turned out to be okay. So even though I went through those hard times, they were worth it because look where I am today. I have a roof over my head, I can eat, and I have everything I need to live a comfortable life. I always learn from my mistakes. It might take me a while sometimes, but I eventually get it. 
Now I just want to spend the rest of my life doing armchair philosophy, analyzing all the details in my life and seeing what I can learn from it all. What lessons can I learn from my traumatic experiences? I learned that I'm better off alone than subjecting my psychology to the company of really strange people. And that's what these psychiatric facilities do. They put you together with other strange people and expect you to foster and develop friendships from within them. And that is something that I could not do because I did want, not want to be around these people. Same thing with homelessness. Because you're homeless, they expect you to be friends with other people who are homeless and I just could not do that. To this day, I still have not found my place in life. Or have I? I'm here on YouTube, aren't I? And maybe hardly anybody knows about me. But who cares? At least I get to document my thoughts and feelings and learn from my past experiences. I have a lot of fun doing this, even though I have to bring to surface some of the traumatic experiences that I had to endure during my life. Please do like the video. I don't know how to get my videos more exposure I think the AI algorithm likes it when you like my videos and I think when you do that it shows my videos to more people so please do like the video. If you haven't yet please do subscribe. I appreciate your attention span. Thanks for watching. Until next time.